Well, good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now, I'm just going to have a look around the greenhouse today, but first I've noticed this uh, Angraecum sesquipedale. And uh, if I can get closer with the camera, you can see that uh, it's started rotting its bottom leaves off. They're going yellow. So, uh, I said that needs a good clean up. You can see there some nice thick roots coming out here they're like steel there's three on that side and two on that side but these this leaf especially that it's really gone this one's on its way but there's one a little bit lower it's not too bad so what I've supposed to do is take these off take this one off and uh, really if I had a deeper pot then I could pot it another four or five inch deeper. But uh, what I'll do, I'll just take these leaves off. I'll take this one off first, I'll just cut it. Might even be better from the other side, won't it? I'll just cut this off. They're very tough, the leaves, or well, they're no good. And I said before, when they're going yellow down here, it's a sign that they've they've had the uh, mealy bug. But sometimes it's just age like this one. Just trying to get down the middle of the of the leaf. They're not easy to take off these. See, this is our mealy bug, mealy bug at one time or another. I'll show you in a minute. But it hasn't had anything for, what, a month? Oh, and if I can do it, yeah. As you can see there, you see some remnants of mealy bug. And also on here, so it's had quite a lot of mealy bug in this one. And that is what destroys these type of plants. See, I'm hoping you can see it now. I just bend it. I don't know whether you can see it or not. But oh, oh, it's difficult to try and take these leaves off. They're so tough. That's another with remnants on, and this will be another. Yep, there you are. You can see that what's left of me, they were all dead, but still there. Oh, there's a mess to get off. I'm going to take this off as well. Clean the plants up. Now this one, I don't think has had any mealy bug in. Nope, not at all. I don't really want to replant this because there's a lot of them don't like re replanting. Uh, just gotta make sure this that we get rid of everything. I'll just take the main stuff off and then I'll uh, I'll sort of clean it up, you know, the stem the monopodial stem. Yeah, there's been a bit of mealy bug in here as well, as you can see. So you've got to always check your angry acorns for mealy bug. 
They're as bad as cat layers with uh, scale. And what I propose to do, when I've got as much off of this as I can, I'll get some uh, some bug spray and I'll uh, I'll brush it all into the crevices on here with uh, with a toothbrush. Well, I've got some spray here, some bug spray, so I'll do all the stem. Put plenty on. And I've got the toothbrush, so we'll rub it in all the nooks and crannies, just to make sure there's nothing hanging about that's going to cause us any more problems. And the legs are going off this table a bit so that's why it's wobbling. Let's get in there. Now this is flowered. One to uh, one twice, that's all, but growing quite nicely. If I can uh, take the camera back and show you. There we are, as I was saying, this is. saying this is growing quite nicely it's putting new leaves up quite regular all nice and clean it's flowered I think it's flowered three times once uh, once in here and another one there where the stem is still left see if we can get down there see if there is anything no nothing down there so that's all right. So that's the uh, the Anglican sesquipedale. And as I said, if I had a much deeper pot or a large, this big, a large uh, basket affair, I would definitely put it in there because it gets all air to it and everything. So uh, I'll have a look out for one of those. And this one's in coconut husk, which has been brilliant for it. But as you know, I make sure the uh, the coconut TDS is uh, is five or below before I use it. So that's the sesqui the sesquipedale. They generally uh, start spiking in uh, September October time, and they generally flower uh, late winter early spring. And this is another Angraecum, the Angraecum uh, Crestwood Tomorrow's Star. And uh, as you say, this is going exactly the same with the bottom leaves, getting ready to drop off. And uh, you can see how many leaves have been taken off because this is a monopodial stem up here that's getting longer and longer. So uh, sometime or other, it get chopped off about here then we can put the rest of the uh, plant down at uh, the surface of the compost. Now this has got a lovely root system. See it's growing over the sides there, all around the top of the pot. You can see them there. And it's got one, two, three, four, Five on the monopodial stem that's going deep into the uh, into the bark and perlite on this one, but this is another that's getting ready to uh, to be uh, chopped down and repotted, but uh, not this year. And this has flowered I don't know how many times, once, twice. It's like it had two on at the same day there. Another one there. Another one there. 
so there will definitely be another one coming up later this year. So that's the uh, Tomorrow's Star to, uh, Crestwood Tomorrow's Star. Absolutely beautiful plants these. Well that's enough for the angry acorns. So we'll just have a look round and see what else there is. And this is one I've got uh, in spike, which is annoyed odontoglossum. But the really beautiful uh, blooms on this one when it comes out, which I'll no doubt show you when it does. So that's the odontoglossum. Well this is the Dracula Woolwardii and plenty and plenty of spikes coming out. But they just look like they're going to bloom and then they drop off. And it's not like they dry out because I keep them damp. I mean this looks like it's going to uh, to bloom but I doubt whether it will or not. Is it around anymore? Yeah there's some more on this side. None there and none there. But plenty there and uh, I wish they would flower these. If I'm doing something wrong, somebody uh, put it on the comments and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Why will they not bloom? Because they're being kept down in the greenhouse, cool, with plenty of uh, humidity and plenty of air movement. So uh, if anybody knows any different, I'll be very pleased if you let me know. And this is doing quite nicely, it's a Paphia Pedlum uh, Prince Edward of York. And that's doing quite nicely. So hopefully we'll get some beautiful blooms on that. I mean this mother plant when it flowered was uh, got three beautiful uh, blooms on it. And uh, this plant is the baby of the mother plant. So this is the first time flowering, so it's struggling a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. That's Paphia Pedlum, Prince Edward of York. Well, that's about all I've got for you today, so uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, today, I believe here, they want, they're expecting it to be a scorcher up at 28 degrees. So the greenhouse doors are wide open. Uh, I'm lucky because this is uh, shaded on three sides, this greenhouse, and I've got uh, two, uh, two fans running, one blowing one way, one blowing the other. So they shouldn't take any harm, these are keeping it, they're all being kept nice and damp, uh, they haven't been allowed to dry out, but uh, anyhow, we'll see how it goes. So once again, thanks very much, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, I'd be very obliged if you did so. And until next time, I'll see you later.